Pranadeep, I'll come to you first. You know, post-pandemic, a majority of finance leaders have ramped up their spending around digital transformation, analytics, and related cloud technologies to reimagine culture, enhance the employee experience, and make their companies more agile. So as one of India's fast-growing pharma companies, where there's a lot of physical interaction usually involved, what has been your approach towards tackling the hybrid work model challenges in a very well-regulated space? And how has the adoption of, say, Microsoft 365 helped you create a resilient and flexible workplace from the perspective of people, places, and process, as Keita mentioned? Uh, uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, it's a very valid question. And uh, thanks, Keita, for uh, giving a uh, very good introduction to the entire system overview so yes it's uh, it uh, circulates around uh, people uh, process and uh, uh, the place and uh, definitely uh, an industry like uh, pharma industry uh, it doesn't have it didn't have that kind of uh, uh, i mean setup in terms of infrastructure uh, hardware or software when you start when you face this challenge uh, initially and uh, particularly as an industry and uh, as a uh, particularly as a company the concept of hybrid working was totally alien to, uh, to us at that point of time. So it was a major challenge at that time. And uh, no matter what, uh, ultimately we had to do business. And uh, it was all about producing, distributing uh, our products physically and uh, delivering it to the final customers. And uh, in this set, the biggest challenge that we faced uh, initially was how to uh, keep the channels of communication open 24 into 7 to ensure that all data flows uh, remain unhindered. And uh, in doing that, uh, as uh, Geeta said, yeah, uh, <clears throat> Meet has been a very, uh, I mean, all from all sides, we have got the support from Meet <clears throat> to have a clear line of communication a channel open all across the units, all across the <clears throat> third parties, because we uh, not only produce, we also purchase from third parties, then our distributors, dealers and everything. So uh, the <clears throat> it was uh, every day started with a team meeting and it ended with a team meeting. Yeah, the actual uh, production deliveries were always there. Um, they had to be there. But uh, these uh, things, the collaboration, online collaboration through uh, <clears throat> this uh, Microsoft team was a major part of the year. Second thing that came up was the uh, question of data storage and data protection and sharing of the data as per the norms of financial uh, propriety. Uh, in terms of if you talk about uh, um, there are various uh, processes, uh, systems processes which we need to ensure as a uh, prudent commercial control. So that also was helped by, uh, uh, let's say, Azure that we um, uh, took over that uh, this uh, cloud uh, uh, system uh, from the on-premises system that we had uh, that ensured that gave us uh, reasonable assurance in terms of uh, your security of the data as well as the distribution of the data. So it was a, uh, it was a paradigm shift from the way we did uh, business and uh, all was enabled by uh, the process that we had adapted through the Microsoft 365 uh, uh, yeah, till now. So, uh, but uh, and we are we are doing fine. <laughs> In fact, we are going uh, growing well. And about your role itself, uh, Ranadeep, you know. I have these discussions with a lot of CFOs where they say that uh, digital has come into the function so much that it's no longer hmm. chief financial officer, but the chief future officer. Your thoughts on that? How did you kind of face this disruption which has happened over the past two to three years, especially as a finance function leader? See, I always thought that uh, we should uh, live with the times and lead ahead of the times, but uh, the industry, each industry has their own uh, views, own uh, setup of thoughts. Uh, the so priority of uh, pharma industry was never uh, into IT, but uh, it took us, uh, uh, it was a lesson for us that we should have uh, done it uh, earlier. But yeah, we did it in right time, I would say. Uh, we were not late, but uh, yeah, we could have uh, taken the advantage before because today, once we look back, we see that we are doing work much more efficiently, much more effectively. Uh, uh, and uh, <clears throat> I mean, um, at the, many at the comfort of their home with a uh, good uh, work-life balance just the way we used to do earlier with the help of this uh, system. And I have been very, very vocal about it all throughout my uh, career because uh, I am quite tech savvy that way. So, uh, and uh, I think uh, I'm very proud that uh, we are doing very well. We have a paradigm shift as I told you, and we are doing uh, quite well in this line. Correctly. 